anger is among the more taboo emotions in our culture. And the uh, lack of a healthy way of being angry um, is, has not helped us. Uh, trying to make anger um, generally suppressed has not made us a less violent society at all. In fact, we outsource a lot of our violence. Um, and in the company of others, we are supposed to not be angry. This is so much more true for women. And the, the, general, <laughs> the general way in which anger shows up for women is in one of three ways. The most sleeping kind, the I'm fine kind. <laughs> the other kind is the seething kind, where it's smoldering and shows up every once in a while with critical attacks, <laughs> sometimes very hidden. Um, and then the third way is when it's been held down for long enough, just full on explosion, <laughs> reckless, everybody goes. Um, I can totally understand why people are not so down with exploring rage, fury, wrath under those circumstances. However, anger is a very natural emotion and it has a really, really beautiful purpose. Um, we never get angry about something we don't care about. We don't. If you don't care about it, you don't get angry. So hidden inside of anger is something we feel passionately about, something we love or care about. And the, um, the wild thing is, is that anger just may exist on this planet for a very, very good reason. And maybe it's been in front of our eyes this whole time that the love inside of rage is more powerful than the anger itself. Okay, but how do you get there? How do you get to that place? Um, the, uh, the first move of anger, right, comes up and out. It wants to explode, come up and out. And it usually hits a point of something it wishes to attack something you're fighting against. Anger is usually first, it first takes form of something you're fighting against. And it hits that spot. I'm fighting against this thing. I can't stand this thing. I'm angry that it exists. It is unacceptable. But if you think about that, that thing that you're fighting against as a wall, right? You're pushing up against the wall, all your anger. Where the love wants to go is behind that wall. What do I mean? When you can identify what you're fighting against and then you switch gears and think, okay, but what am I fighting for? Something beautiful begins to happen. If this wall, if this thing I'm fighting against went away, what beautiful thing would the rest of that energy try to create? If I am fighting against um, the oppression of women, how I feel, for example, in a particular situation, I'm fighting against a particular person who I find oppressive and condescending. What is the bigger vision behind that wall? What am I fighting for? There isn't yet a single circumstance that I've come across with a student where the switch from looking at what they're fighting against and stopping there into looking to what they're fighting for doesn't bring out the love. It brings out such a powerful passion. Anger could just be one of the greatest gateways to passionate life purpose, to, to a, a, a huge, beautiful vision for something that's so wanted that it justifies all that energy, all that fire, all that fuel. And when anger is suppressed, when anger is suppressed, one, we lose access to the energy in that. It just is in our system. 
We don't have it as fuel. Second, because anger has this trajectory, it points to something that's wanted. It points to a vision. It points to that love wants to go somewhere. So too, when we suppress anger, we're also missing out on, on really putting our attention, love, and energy into that vision we want to fuel. That's, that's, that's love. The love inside the rage. The passion to get us there. So um, now moving from the first forms when the sleeping dragon awakens and starts to come out and it reaches the stage where it's reckless and boiling. That's not necessarily the, the moment to, to go out and try to um, get something done. That's the moment to honor this fiery force and follow, 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 follow it to what the fight is for. Find that place, that vision, and then you have something to work with and the energy to make it happen.